This time I'm focusing on page five and I'm going to show you another use for uh, object states. And this is to have a clickable map. And, and in our scenario here, we've got uh, different locations of Curiosity Rover and things it did on those dates. Now, we're going to start with um, a, an empty map. And then as we click on the pluses in the final version, the bits of text information will pop up next to that. With that in mind, I'm going to select just the photograph uh, in the background and then go to the object states panel and then click on the plus. That will create our multi-state object. And I'm going to call this Mars map and it will give us two states because it will assume that we want to change the appearance in some way. So these are both identical at the moment. When you click on state one and then click on state two, they will appear exactly the same. So uh, from here, what we need to account for are four different states. We need an empty map and then we need three further states for the three text headings that are going to pop up. So I'm going to go down to the bottom and I'm going to click on add to create a new state. And again, I'll click on the same state and then we get four. So I'm going to go back to state one and just click on there. Just a gentle double left click on there. It, these are quite tricky to rename, but you really would be better off renaming these states. So it's easier to link them up to the buttons afterwards. But you might find that you have to hover over, left click and then click once more uh, to open up that type entry field. So this one is just going to be empty. I'm going to hover over and then left click again. I'm going to call this one August, May, and the final one, December, for the three different dates that we have. So if I go back to August, and then what you'll find with the multi-state objects are that they are very fussy, as a lot of things are inside of InDesign, to be honest, you might be better off clicking away to deselect that. Go back hover over and left click once to activate it. Make sure that the August state is also uh, active in here. Hold down the shift key and then shift and left click on the text frame containing the August date in there. And now with just the multi-state object and that text frame now selected, InDesign is telling us that if we click on the add button, we can insert this object into the current visible state. So if you go down to the bottom, hover over and then click on add objects to visible state. It does that for us. So if I click back on empty, you'll notice it now disappears. Click back on August, it now appears. If I then click on May, if you hover your cursor over the next text frame and hold down the shift key, now watch what happens this time. Shift and left click on there, notice it's empty. And that's what I mean by it being very fussy. I have found that you have to click away once you've done something to your object state, deselect, go back and select it, make sure the correct state's active, shift and left click on the thing you want to add in there, and then the option appears, and click on that one. And then click back on December, click away, click back on the multi-state object, shift and left click on the December date, and then add that one into the current state as well. So we now have empty, August, May, and December. And then I can click away from that. No, oh, just make sure that you click back on empty to almost reset that. Click away. And then uh, if I click on the first button up here, this of course is the December one. So this is December, 2013. I've named this up just for ease of uh, use as well. Actions, click on the plus. And this one now is gonna be called go to state because we can specify which one of the four states we want to jump to. So this one is going to be December like so. And then you can click away, click on the next one in here. Again, go to state. This one, because it's the May 2013 one, is going to be May. Click away, hover your cursor over the bottom one in there. That's the August one. And then choose go to state. And then from here, pick August and then click away. I'll go to file and then choose save and I'll head back to my previewer. And then we're presented with the map with the three clickable buttons. And if whenever time you click on one of them, then that will pop up on screen and show the relevant sort of caption or information in there. So I've used these over the years for 
diagrams where you want to be able to display lots of information, but perhaps you've got a crowded area and that will just allow you to reveal the relevant information when it's needed. And when it's not, it's hidden away. So that's a different use of a multi-state object instead of a slideshow. This is a clickable map or diagram.